Hey guys, welcome back Drip and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Drip Coach, and let's jump right into it. So this is a new announcement on what is now being dubbed as W Drip. Now, I'm on the fence on this one. Um, I don't have a dog in this fight, so to speak, but this is from the AI Drip team. And um, yeah, let's just cover what they put out. So this is still in development not completely released yet but we'll just go over this announcement and then i'll break down my thoughts on it so what is w drip w drip operates similarly to wrapped eth when you put drip in you receive wrap drip in return and if you decide to unwrap w drip you get back the original drip tax-free w drip the 10 percent native transfer tax applies to the wrapping and unwrapping transactions but WDRIP has zero taxes, offering a seamless and cost-effective experience. Bridgeable. WDRIP can be seamlessly bridged, opening the doors for WDRIP across multiple chains. Ownership and fee-free. No ownership, no developer fees, 100% decentralized. Utility and development. Coin flip, roulette, and dice will be the first utilities for WDRIP. Moreover, we will invite developers from the community and beyond to contribute and build on top of this innovative initiative. Market W drip market buy drip with 10 100% of the minting fees converted to W drip and distribute W drip through the burning of the air AI drip NFTs. Oops, let's uh get to the rest of this. Uh, liquidity provisions we will provide W drip BNB liquidity out of pocket. Additionally, we welcome community members to contribute to liquidity provisions. All right, so this is from the ai drip team and i didn't purchase an nft or what did i do i minted one and then i mentioned to you guys that i wasn't sure about them so do your own research and if you really want to one just buy it off the market blah 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 so they got shelved or pivoted or whatever the case may be the last announcement was here on september 10th and we can read that because you may not be familiar with that let's see we regret to inform you that due to unforeseen demands on our team's time we will not be able to move forward with launching ai drip as planned however we value your support immensely and want to ensure fairness we will offer nft holders the option to burn their nfts to claim their ai drip tokens and stake them to recover contributions rest assured all contributions remain untouched here stay tuned for further instructions so remember forex shit on this because it didn't have his stamp of approval um and then i don't really know what happened behind the scenes why they stopped doing ai drip what happened why all of a sudden now ai drip is becoming um w drip it's all very strange to me but the one thing i do know is that the charlatan and snake uh ray barton conglomerate was shilling this very very hard so because of that i have a huge pause because um, I don't know what his initiative is. Same thing now with this um, Wasteland Labs. Great production value on their content, but uh, they reached out to Ray first. So it makes me wonder whether or not either A, he's behind it, or B, they just understand that he's a big mouthpiece in the community. So I don't know, but definitely pause. So um, AI Drip had some cool things that looked like they were going to do, and it was gonna be on Pulse, and then just kind of got stagnant. But now we have this new W drip. Now, again, I'll break it down from my side. The idea is actually really smart. So anytime you're moving drip around, you have taxes. Now, taxes are a double edged sword because it can help replenish the tax vault and it eventually goes towards the the burns essentially that will be happening with drip because now that it's deflationary. So Having the tax is actually a good thing, but also it's a bad thing because it makes it difficult for other projects to build and utilize the token because you can't, you swap it between your wallets, your tax, you sell it, your tax, you buy it, your tax. So it's, you got to leverage that total amount of transaction taxes into your model and shave that off the top of what you could be making or what people could be doing with the project. So by them creating this wrapping feature, so what will happen is you will basically go into a contract, you put your drip in, and then you're given out wrap drip. 
So it'll be a one to one. But when you put it in, it will get taxed. And then once you've done that, you can then move it around from wallets, move it across chains, put it into games, all this stuff. So in theory, it would only be the amount of, since we can't mint any drip tokens and they're not making any AI drip to I'm sorry, any W drip tokens, it would only be what's put into the contract. So very similar to how kitchen sink only pays out the amount of drip that was put in this could be a great opportunity to again lock up more drip tokens and then add utility to those tokens that got locked up so we don't know what the final supply for drip will be but as of right now um kitchen sink is making a move it's in the top three so having another project again i'm speculative i have no idea about this ai drip team and i'm on the fence because ray was shilling it so but the more projects we get that can lock up drip tokens the better for all of us that got wrecked so on that side i do support digging into it to see what happens um and then also being able to have a way to use the token. So if let's just say they got half of what Kitchen Sink gets, let's say they, let's just call it 5 million. They get 5 million um, drip tokens put into their contract. They would then create 5 million W drip. And you can then use that W drip on different chains and different games, transactions, whatever the case may be. And then um, you would then come back to that contract put your W drip back in and you'll get your drip tokens out. So, and again, you'd be hit with that 10% tax. So it does add a utility to drip and it does add, as they mentioned here, some ability for other developers to build on top of that without the tax fee structure. So this could literally be a foundational ecosystem kind of piece. But again, I'm on the fence <laughs> because of course, um, I don't trust Ray and I don't know what happened or who these people are. I didn't follow the AI drip stuff at all. Um, I didn't go in depth depth into it. And there are people in the community that are on the fence as well. So Pulse Exakin, you didn't even bring out AI drip. Can't trust the thing you guys say. Everything you do is a waste of time. What happened to AI drip? Shout out to KK. Y'all never gave me back my $3 back from AI drip. Has this been audited? Shoot me a me message. So the one thing I guess with that is that the the dollar value for your ai drip will apparently be here so it says they're going to market by drip with 100 percent of the minting fees convert it to w drip and distribute w drip through the burning of the air ai drip nfts so if you decide to burn your ai drip nft that you have from here then you will be able to get the W drip and then that W drip would be converted into drip. So you get your drip back that way. So it looks like they didn't run away with the bag. And as you see here, they have this $12,000 worth of BNB that they got from the minting. So um, it, it appears it's all still there. So can't be upset for that. Nothing, the jury's still out, I guess is the case. So I don't know about this team, but again, I like the idea, the concept, just like I, I supported the concept and idea of the scammer, Brian legend of what he was trying to do. And that could have been innovative and bullish from a marketing standpoint, but it all depends <laughs> on what people do with these utilities. I think it was in uh, one of the X-Men movies the newer ones where he was talking to um, Jean Grey and he mentioned about a pen and it's like, yeah, a pen can be used to write a lovely sonnet or it can be used to stab someone in the eyeballs, but it's no fault of the pen. It all depends on who wields it. So the ideas and utility being introduced into Drip and into DeFi in general are great. But if you're again, Brian Legend, you scam people with these ideas, then people get uh, a bad taste in their mouth that the idea was bad, but it's like, no, the idea is good. Same thing with this. The idea of Rap Drip is a smart, play will they execute in a way that's secure and sad food for the community that's what i don't know and how much support can they get from other developers that too could be really cool so if they get other people to support this um and um develop for it then 
that could work out, you know? So keep your eyes peeled. The more utilities for drip, the better. So I'm, I'm on board with anything that is actually going to be adding drip tokens <laughs> into contracts and locking them up and removing them from supply. And of course, I'm more bullish on anything that actually is adding buy pressure to drip. That's the real key right now. Adding utility to it is great, but we need that utility to turn into people actually uh, putting up capital and not <laughs> the people that are already wrecked. I want it to come from, you know, say, for example, bit fighters and people get excited about that game from other communities and they're playing the game and then then just to replenish their energy they buy a brew that's the way that we can do this you don't want to have the people that are already wrecked just continue you know buying a falling knife or or something like that if you add utility and add new games and stuff like that that come from other areas then that can be super super beneficial for the drip token and even here they mention coin flip, roulette, and dice. So there's some really simple games that can be cross chain and you know the W drip is being used to play those games, then hey, that'd be great. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, you can jump in their telegram. I think it's linked here on the Twitter so that you can actually see this for yourself. Let's zoom back out. Uh, where is it? AI drip official. Link tree. I think this is what you want because it still has their white paper to the AI drip and all that stuff. And then the telegram. So you can jump into the telegram and see what's going on in there. And that's this chat that I was looking at before. And it has the links to your Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't read this announcement. So we're thrilled to unveil W drip, a groundbreaking initiative designed to benefit the entire drip community. All that we ask is for you to really take a moment to explore the incredible potential and opportunities of W drip will bring. So I can't argue with that. That's exactly what I'm saying. So if the team is Safu and it does have nothing to do with Ray and stealing from the community again, then I think this is great. Um, that's something that will have to be researched. I have no idea. We're all gearing up for launch of the drip wrapping feature in the coming weeks. Here's a small sneak peek of what W drip offers zero developer fees. So that's pretty cool. Zero taxes, of course, and 100% decentralized. Let's see how that shapes up. As we get closer to launch, we will open up discussions in the chat for a more in-depth explanation of W drips potential. Imagine a future of drip with zero taxes on buy sells and transfers along with exciting utilities for developers expanding exchange listings. Stay tuned for more details and let your imagination envision the limitless possibilities. So this is, yeah, for sure, legit. So I do want to share, like I said, both sides of the coin. I totally agree with the, the path for the development side and adding utility by creating a new drip that doesn't devalue the old one and adds all this immense utility by having no taxes, no developer fees, then people can build protocols using wrap drip. So that's super smart. Now, of course, the people building, the developers would probably put a tax or a developer fee on their protocol to get W drip. And then by extension, they would then be selling the drip token. But if you add more utility, um, then the drip price goes back up. And that's all we want. So I think this is a great idea. We will see what happens because Forex already shit on AI drip. So he might do the same thing with this because supposedly he was doing something with bridging as well, remember? So who knows? Um, but you have Ray championing for it, so it will have that side of the community at least engaging with it. And I'm in the middle. I'm not saying it's, the. I'm saying it's good, but I can't say the developers are Safu. I have no idea about the developers. So that's where the research has to come into play. I know nothing about these guys. So if you guys have any insight on them, I know they're, the community is split because of what they did with AI drip and stuff like that, but the money's still there. You can see it on chain. And according to what they just mentioned, you can get your AI drip, your minted AI drip NFT money back. So your three to $4 of BNB you can get back. So if that be the case, then to me, they're Safu. You know, I still have my AI drip NFT. Um, so we'll see. All right. Jump in the telegram, do your own research, all that good stuff. Smash that HBO special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below, and until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? 
Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.